Hey guys, I'm about to introduce you to the dark side of a pro gamer's life. Um, it's the time when he loses a match, especially if he thinks he shouldn't have lost. Uh, I feel pretty horrible, I'm trying hard not to hate myself very much. I know I won't have a good time inside my own head tonight when I'm trying to fall asleep. Uh, what happened? I, I was in the semi-finals against uh, Spoon. Theoretically a player whom by all means I should beat. But that doesn't matter much after you lost, does it? Um, I surprisingly won the first game extremely easy. I think that kind of catapulted me into, I have to say, partly overconfident uh, attitude. In the second game I, I was struggling with myself. I was thinking, do I play something standard or do I go cannon rush? It's Zelnaga Kevin, so I usually go cannon rush. And uh, then I, I decided to do it, but even as I was doing it, I had some misgivings about it, but I thought it can be okay. And even though it's a bit of a gamble, it could catch him off guard and I can still win the third game. Uh, I lost it quite badly. Uh, that must have made him, feel, made him feel pretty good, because even though I won the first game quite easy, he won the second game even more easy. So. And then in the third game I was nervous, not because he was you know, such a world-class player, all respect to him, I think he was good and better than expected. And he beat Sushilicious and he's been doing pretty decent at Lance, local Lance. But uh, I was nervous because I thought, damn man, what the hell are you doing? It's 1-1 one, one. and something unlucky can happen and you could just be out and then you're not qualified for World Cyber Games. So. I was kind of nervous and yeah well I, sh I shouldn't be but I was and I wanted to play it safe so I kind of spread myself thin I was kind of safe against Forgate then I was safe against DTs and then I was trying to get to the next point where I'm safe against Blink Stalker all in but that is what he did and I could have known and I should have known and I freaking probably knew but yeah I, I just kind of messed up and he blinked into my base and I didn't have enough shit and then uh, I lost and it immediately sank in that I just screwed up and I'm not going to Korea for World Cyber Games in December and at the very least I wanted to challenge Orly in the finals because I recently lost him in MLG Rally um, and I've been getting better against Zerg so I wanted to test myself there's no guarantee I would have won so so it's not like if I won my semis I would have definitely gone to Korea but uh, I would have at least wanted to try and I think I had a pretty good chance but well, what does that mean I just lost to a uh, player worse than Harley probably I mean we're gonna have to see what the result is between them but. yeah uh, what can you do so at this point usually uh, I get the impulse to uh, take away the bad feeling probably by like practicing it's some kind of remedy or therapy uh, you just want to go behind a PC that's I mean I think that's what most pro gamers feel at least I feel that I want to get behind a PC and, and play so much until I prove to myself that it was really just a stupid move a stupid upset or anything like that um, but yeah I mean I'm, I don't have much time to think about it I have a I have a match tomorrow I'm going to Korea in two three days I'll be busy preparing for that packing for that and then my training in Korea starts in earnest and uh, as always you have to look forward even though you feel like I don't know grieving or crashing your head into the wall um, I will look forward I will train and I'll go to my my next events but for this day it was one big disappointment and sadly that's part of being a pro gamer sometimes um, it shouldn't have been today it should have been against you know, stronger competition but uh, it happened and there's no way to turn around time or anything like that so uh, yeah that's uh, that was WCG quality for me I hope uh, whoever goes has a lot of fun and they deserve it and uh, I'll see you guys with a pre-blog for my next event or maybe some other video material but Thanks for uh, watching this series and uh, see you guys next time.